Just wanted to roll because Sandeep is actually here in the office and, and he's the creator of The Legend of Neil. And I haven't had a chance to talk to you about like season four of The Legend of Neil. It's, well, there is no season four. Season three is the end as the associate producer on the show should probably. <laughs> I didn't really know. I had notes because nope, I wasn't feeling Tony. Done. I didn't think Tony was doing. You're shooting. Well, yeah, this is a Legend of Neil thing. A Legend of Neil yeah, meeting? Yeah, I helped produce the Legend of Neil. Associate producer. You loaned him a camera. No, I did more. Actually, I had a question for you, but now that you're here, I really need to talk to you. Look what I'm dealing with, man. I'm dealing with fools and trolls, you know? I'm dealing with soft targets, and it's just, you know, it's, it's just strafing runs in my underwear before my first cup of coffee because I don't have time for these clowns. We're totally checking out Rage. This is behind the scenes, super scoop stuff. So this is a giant destroyed industrial area. You get to know the people that live here, all the different warring factions. We're not in a little space corridor. It's not a hallway with a room and another hallway. Well, I'm seeing him getting in the vehicle and driving around. Is it you guys are like just copying Halo? You guys were saying that you're gonna advance past like Doom and Quake. But it, this is brown. Quake is brown, it's brown. An asteroid hit the Earth near the desert. That's brown. Should we change the color of the poop also? You want purple fringe everywhere? Full box of crayons and we use it all over the place. Don't worry about that. You didn't come prepared for this interview, did you? Oh, so you hit people with the car. That's like the Grand Theft Auto. I, no, I wasn't talking about your driving. I'm sure you can drive really well. It has nothing to do with your being Asian. The graphics are awesome. This interview is not that awesome. You have almost everything in here. Do you have any black people in the game? We do. We are, yes. Do you shoot them? So what Leland Yee and his cronies are completely ignoring is that we have one of the most effective rating systems across any form of media right now with the ESRB. When you go in and buy a game with your kid, you can see the ratings clearly marked on each of the boxes. And beyond that, it explains what the content is that some may find offensive. It doesn't make any sense to lump on another arbitrating rating system to confuse people even more. I understand the concern that you raise as a developer. I don't understand from the consumer side though, what's the, really the difference? What it means is that you, as an adult, probably won't be able to buy a lot of the games that you want to buy because they just won't be made. Skepticisms is the longest word in which the hands alternate while typing. Yeah, on Xbox Live, you can find the Jace Hall Show. I go over to where it says web videos and I click. Whose face do I see? Oh, it's the guild. I'm second, Cindy. You're last. Se I'm last. Se second of two. I don't control where Microsoft wants to put their, you know, premium programming. I don't understand why there's this conspiracy. So, yeah, I mean, I've seen the whole feud. You gotta get over it, man. It's, it's, okay, let me explain on. this. If I if I click the guild, this is free. If I go back, I, I pick the, the Jace Hall show. It's 120 points. It's not free. Do I don't people, understand. People do people pay for this? I'm Jace Hall. That's Dave Perry. Legendary game everything. We're on a Navy SEAL O course. Let's race. The tires. Where's Dave? Okay. Go, go to the other road. The, the other road. Okay. Easy. Just walk over it. He didn't go. He didn't go he didn't over. Even see he didn't go road. over. I'm gonna vote that you skip this one. No, you guys can't. You guys, seriously, we came all the way out here. So you get up there now. Get up there now. This is too high. Now I give you Activision's rendition of Pitfall. God, I had it! What would you say the most significant accomplishment, technologically speaking? What, what matters in the end? How good does it look? and the performance. So if you can get a really good looking game in high performance, especially a shooter, a shooter needs the, the fundamentals, control and feedback. We want 60 frames a second. So when John said this game's gonna ship on all the platforms, it'll look the same, it'll look gorgeous, and it's gonna run at 60 frames a second, we were just rejoicing. So okay, so this game runs at 60 frames a second, 
all the time. On every platform. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outpost. We were already here and we have a ways to go in development. Everything you're seeing today is 60 hertz lock. I mean, I will say, because it, it looks smooth, totally smooth when you're playing this game. Can I try? No. Leland Yee and the guys who are behind this law are completely ignoring the artistic merit in these games. I mean, they want to take a game like Resistance or Modern Warfare and basically treat them like a pack of cigarettes or a bottle of Jack Daniels. Speaking of artistic merit, there's like a lot of artists out there working on a game that I haven't got a chance to see. Can we go see that? I can get my exclusive. Why don't you uh, call Leland Yee and you can maybe get your exclusive with him. Big ass building behind me is the is where the office of Senator Leland Yee is located. He's not in his office. We called. He's not in his office. No time for Jace Hall because he doesn't want to deal with the people because that's what the Jace Hall show is. And the people want to know why you want to treat video games like tobacco and alcohol and and I don't know, porn. I'm thinking he heard that we were coming for him and so he scrammed. He skedaddled and we came all the way here, basically to an empty office. So I'm gonna finish this Legend uh, Neil you, thing with Todd. Not, you're not helping. I mean, I, I'm trying to, I'm really working here with you to try to get to Sorry. the bottom of this conspiracy. Yeah. And, uh, Dude, is that Kaboom? Oh no, he didn't. This is so silly. So this is Infinity Blade. It's our first actual real iPhone game. This is exclusive, coming from id Software on the Jace Hall Show. That's awesome.